Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. The teen accused of murdering another teen is awaiting extradition to Indiana from California. 18-year-old Jermaine Drake turned himself into San Diego police Tuesday after talking to a pastor. Tonight, Newslink Indiana's Jerry Fernandez has family reaction. We're at relief, but it's not over. That's the reaction from Chris Massingo's mom, Debbie, after she learned her son's accused killer was in police custody. Daughter Mallory continues to struggle with her big brother's murder. I think she's still completely in shock about everything, so um, I just feel safer to let her go out now. Debbie has only one wish for 18-year-old Jermaine Drake. I hope they give him a punishment where he has to think about my son every day. Not only is Chris Massingo's family relieved, Drake was caught. So is Yorktown Marshal Jeff Marlowe. I was ecstatic. <laughs> Drake is still awaiting extradition to Indiana, but Marlowe says Drake won't fight his return. Marlowe is satisfied the case is coming to an end. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. I couldn't wait to, to get him, have him picked up. As to why police didn't arrest Drake right after the shooting, Marlowe says it had to do with leads. And those ones that we got weren't true. I believe he left the night that, that the shooting occurred. In Yorktown, Jerry Fernandez, Newslink, Indiana. Drake could be back in Indiana by the end of the week or not until early next week. Two of the nation's top high school girls volleyball teams will face off tonight in Muncie. Muncie Central host Burris. The Burris Owls are ranked number one in the country with 31 wins and no losses. Central's team is ranked seventh with one loss to Indianapolis Cathedral. A win tonight could get them into the top five. And these girls have been around for a long time. Most of these girls grew up watching these matches, so they're very familiar with what the environment will be like tonight. They know each other very well, but uh, they also know this last week or so, this, it's uh, been kind of building up that this is going to be a war, and uh, you know we'll shake hands after the match, but until then, uh, we're the enemy. The game is at 7 tonight at Muncie Central High School. Well, now here's Nicholas Ferreri with a look at our forecast. Nicholas? Thanks, Chris. Tonight, light rain is in our forecast with a low of 46 degrees and winds from the north-northwest at 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow, our high will be 59 degrees, a chance for some afternoon and evening showers as a cold front moves through tomorrow evening. Chris, back to you. Thanks, Nicholas. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.